ever walked through the children's section of the library and found a book that you really would enjoy? If you haven't, you need to give it a try. Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, my name is Kyla Denagno and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I absolutely love books and I love reading and I have given my daughter that same love of reading. <laughs> In the morning we'll ask her, what do you want for breakfast? You want toast or oatmeal? Books. And then you'll read a book and she go, again, again, right? And I, I love it. I'm like, girl, I'll read all the books to you all day long. <laughs> and so I wanted to talk about some of the books that we're reading right now, okay? So this is fall 2022. My daughter is almost two and a half years old and we are reading a lot of books to her so that we can get her to expand her taste buds, try different things, get more exposure to different things, okay? This is the stack that we are currently reading and talking about. So my daughter used to love to eat every single thing that she could see. You put a piece of avocado in front of her, she's scarfing it down. You put a piece of fish, she's eating it, this, this, and that. However, she has started to go to daycare and that changed everything. She was home with my husband and I for the first two years of her life. It was just us. So we got really comfortable giving her a whole piece of fruit to eat or she would eat everything but the core of the apple and bring that to you, right? And so we got really comfortable with that. She would try asparagus and salmon if that's what we were eating. She would just eat it. And then you have to pack meals for daycare. <laughs> I did not have kids food for her. I didn't. I absolutely did not. There were no yogurt pouches. There was no applesauce in a cup. We didn't need the convenience items because we were at home. And so I decided to get a lot of books to read to her so that we could expose her to more foods and let her see that eating is a lot of fun. Food is delicious, but also food can be healthy. So that's why I picked up these books about vegetables eating. I know these, this one looks just like the other one, but this one is about different styles of cooking. And then this book shows that eating can be sloppy and that's okay because food is yummy, <laughs> right? And then my daughter absolutely loves pumpkins. She thinks they are so great. She really had a fun time for Halloween. We have pumpkins on our back porch. Her pumpkins are a vegetable, but also you can eat them. We even made a pumpkin pie. This one is a little bit unusual in terms of it's not in this category of like describing foods, but this book is so good for teaching her about veggies and foods, right? So it's a child and I think Pops is the grandfather, but they spend time picking vegetables. They're grabbing carrots out of the yard. So it's really great. <laughs> in fact, this book is where we realize she separates toast from bread. Right, cause like she'll point to this and say bread, but then if she sees a loaf and some slices, she'll call that toast. And I was like, look at my baby, she knows distinctions. Right, but this was a really good book for also teaching her that people eat different kinds of foods. You can put veggies together on a sandwich, you can eat them together. This one was unexpected, but it really got her to try different things, right? We could say, try it. You know, look, she's trying it with pops, try it. So that one was really good. This other one, Opposite to super cute because she knows her letters and so she likes to just spell out the letters on this one. But also there's a lot of things that we say to her when we're trying to use descriptive words. You know, get that under the chair or uh, put that on the table. But then to have a book that's completely about up, down, over, under was really good. Really good reinforcement of what opposites are. And then these last two, kids love all kinds of things that are textile. Um, so this one has all kinds of different like feelings and stuff that you can touch, but it's also helping to teach her the months in the year. But this one was the absolute standout, Strut Baby Strut, Strut Baby Strut. And it goes through the life cycle basically of these three little girls who go through like become big kids and then they become teenagers. And then it shows them with their parents as they are older. And so I was really happy we picked this up. You know, if you've been watching any of the Kyla's Reading Day videos, you know that I choose books by their cover. I'm learning how to not do that with my daughter. I wanna just like pick books that are good, <laughs> which is why we chose a lot of these. But this one I saw it on the shelf and I was like, strap baby, give me that one. So I was really happy that I picked this one up and she's really been enjoying it, so. 
So this was a little bit different, but I did want to just tell you what my stuff and baby girl are reading right now. My daughter loves books and I hope it's because she sees books everywhere. We always have books lying around. We take her to the library quite often. And I really hope that I can continue to stoke that and that she continues to enjoy books. And if you're struggling with how to expose your kid to more things, consider grabbing some books from the library. You don't always have to buy the books just for them to enjoy it. It's definitely a good idea to grab some books from the library, okay? So let me know, do you have a kiddo out there and do you read books to them? Have you picked up any of these books and would it make you wanna try broccoli because you saw it in a book. <laughs> so this was Kyla Denaya. Thanks for hanging out with me on Kyla's Reading Day. <laughs> Bye.